Okay, the last of the screencasts for or the video commenting on your uh, research study pages. This is a continuation of the one, uh, the first part from uh, section section three. Uh, the video was almost twenty some odd minutes long, so I had to stop and then I had to get ready to go. So this is the uh, the second part of that. Again, I'm going to be commenting on or or looking at your. Uh, research study pages as if I was coming to them from uh, outside and making suggestions that could help enhance the way uh, they are presenting uh, the study. I'm also be taking a look at the layout of the pages, uh, and the themes that you've chosen to talk about the readability of them, and I'll be looking at your about pages as well. Uh, you'll probably hear me slurping on some tea while I'm doing this, and we will begin. So um, these is the last three blogs from section uh, section three. We'll be looking at Modern Girls in Pawnee, uh, Pretty Little Anatomy of Mary Jane's Affairs, and Tweeting Diversity. So uh, first, um, Modern Girls in Pawnee. Uh, we really need to have uh, significantly more in this about page. Uh, while it does get the, the basics out there, uh, we only have one of them linking to... Actually, this goes... To, I'm not even sure where this actually goes to. This goes to mentions. I'm not really sure where this link actually goes. Uh, it looks to me like it should go to the Twitter page, but it does not. If you look at the bottom there, it goes to some mentions on the blog. I'm not really sure what that is. But we need a, a, a separate uh, paragraph or about each individual person in the blog, who you are, what your interests are, so on and so forth. Um, this also should link to the research study pages themselves. Okay, so please take a look um, at, at this page. Uh, regarding the layout of the site itself, I do really like the, the header that you've added here. I think that's great. Um, I the the coloring is, is nice and, and bright. I do like that. The, the header is, is quite clear. Uh, the font is readable. Uh, it's got a nice layout to it. We'll have to start adding some widgets to the blog as for the assignment, uh, but otherwise that's uh, really nice. Uh, this is the uh, GIF, the, the animated GIF blog, because uh, so each one of your uh, sites does use these animated GIFs. And the question that you're going to need to ask yourselves is, are you overdoing the GIFs in this short space? And do the GIFs take away from the content of the space? Now, um, as I'm coming to this site for the first time, all I really see immediately is the GIF. And I'm not sure if that's something you want. I think that uh, you might want, you know, okay, have, have a GIF, but don't make the GIF overwhelming the content. And if we look at it in terms of size, uh, the GIF is essentially the same amount as a taking up the same real estate on the page as the text itself. So um, we need significantly more text here about why you've chosen the show, what, it, what the show is about, uh, what the controversies are about the show, because um, Girls has a lot of controversy about it from what I understand. I've never seen it, but I've read about it in Rolling Stone. Um, and we, of course, need links to the show website, other web pages associated with it. I like how you've used um, the study with the link to the course. That's that's great. Uh, we might have Rowan University Writing Arts and Elementary Education linked to their respective pages. And I like how you're contacting me through Twitter at Jules. We do need a period after that, of course. Uh, please note that this is centered, um, and this content is not. So please flush that to the left. But if I'm coming to this page for the first time and I'm trying to learn about the study, I'm really not getting a full idea about what it is that's actually going to be happening uh, and why you're interested in this particular one. So we do need a bit more information on this on this page, Julie. Uh, from Modern Family, from Samantha. Um, here again, lots of animated GIFs. GIFs are, you know, fun, but are they overwhelming the site? And um, I would say yes, and I'm getting a little of as I'm looking at it, I'm sort of becoming sort of hypnotic with the, the punching here. Boom, 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 boom. 
And that's really all I'm seeing. So Samantha, I might remove these and add more content. Um, if you want having some images or one or two GIFs, that's, I mean, one GIF maybe uh, is fine, but please don't over overwhelm it there because they can take up uh, quite, quite a bit. Uh, I'm glad that you're linking to the course and you're linking to Modern Family Research. It'll be great to have a link to your web page, uh, a link to the the course uh, itself. I'm sorry, not the course, the the show itself, of course. And as in uh, Julie's uh, post, we need significantly more information here. Really, we need a lot more uh, exposition. We need a lot more description about what it is uh, that the study is about and um, why you're interested in actually uh, studying this. Let's see, Parks and, Parks and Rec, boom, more gifts. <laughs> and now we're dancing. And we're dancing and we're looking back over this way. And, you know, and I'm not really sure why these gifts are here. I understand that they're fun, but what do they do to enhance the page itself? Um, why this particular GIF? Why this, um, I can't remember his name, the stand-up comedian. Why turning uh, to the left? Why is that important? Okay, and why is this dancing important? Uh, so... It's important as we're putting together our blogs that we're not just using multimedia for the sake of mul using multimedia. We could do that all day long, but we want to make sure that we're using the multimedia in a way that enhances the specific site. So I'm glad that you've linked to the page. Again, we could link to all these other places. As someone who's coming to this site for the first time, I might want to see, what's your own university? I don't know what that is. Boom. You know, I can look it up on Google, but it's easy just to click on it, right? Uh, link to the Parks and Recreation website. Link to the hashtag. Um, it's great that you've got your username. But like the other three uh, in here, I would love to have more detail, more discussion. Uh, what is it about this show that is so great? What have been the discussions about the show? What have been the reviews? Uh, and so on. So please do add a little bit, uh, significantly more, I think, to each of your, uh, each of your posts. Because really what we have here is just the basic, the basic information. Okay, moving on to Pretty Little Anatomy and Mary Jane's Affairs. This is a very nice uh, layout. It's more of a traditional layout where we have the left sidebar and the content area over here. It's sort of an elegant looking theme. Um, I'm not sure if you've changed the header image or not, um, but it goes very nicely with the script. Uh, well, I'm sorry, with the italicized header font and each of these um, hashtag studies sort of go along with this theme very very nicely. Let me look at your about page. The about page is, is nice. Um, I like how you bold printed each of these. It, as a first time reader, it brings me directly to who, uh, who the three women are on the site. Please add periods at the end of each of your sentences here. Um, you do not need a colon uh, after Twitter. Just follow me on Twitter at Nicolette Cicero. That, that's perfect. Uh, Grace, please do link to your own okay, uh, Twitter page, capitalizing Twitter. Um, and please also do link to your actual study pages. Uh, and, and you might do this over here. Pretty Little Liars, Be Mary Jane, State of Affairs. Uh, it looks like we're missing one of the blog posts. Uh, not one of the blog posts, one of the study pages. I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like we are missing state of affairs. So please make sure you are adding uh, your own. Let's take a look. Okay, being Mary Jane. Okay. Um, we have the the video at the top. I'm not completely sure why this video is, is right here. I see that it's for season two. Uh, it would be nice to have that integrated into the site and introducing yourself first. If you want to link to Rowan University, that's great. Link to the liberal arts study. Um, for your research study, I'm going to be studying Mary Jane. That's fine. I think we do we need a little bit of description here. Uh, it's often nice to make sure that you are spelling the professor's name correctly with two Fs right there, although it's great that you are linking to my Twitter page. Uh, note that the URL will not go to the site. It reads currently http colon slash slash https slash slash twitter.com slash billwolf. Um, that won't work, so please do fix this link because it is broken. 
Uh, I like that you have found the Grounded Theory page of Wikipedia. That's great. And, but we really do need more. Um, this is nice that you've highlighted BET, but when this sort of thing is highlighted as a user, I expect to go to BET. Uh, if you want, but this one goes to Being Mary Jane. So I would make this linkable for be, Being Mary Jane, and if you still want people to go to BET website, make that BET, uh, go to BET. Um, so the assigned page, uh, that's nice that you're linking to the class, and uh, but I would like to get this multimedia incorporated in here. Is there a reason why it's season two that you're pointing to? Uh, so um, give a little bit more history about the show, bring the multimedia into the actual space itself. Let's see, Grey's Anatomy. The first thing I see when I come to the Grey's Anatomy, other than the GIF uh, right here, and you can see what I talked about, the GIFs from the other, uh, the other blog, is that this is all centered. And then I want to know why. Why is this centered? Um, none of the other ones are centered, I do not think. Uh, well, this one is centered, and again, I want, I'm want. i curious as to why the whole thing is is centered, and I'm wondering now as I look at it, is the, are all your other posts centered? So I'm going to take a look. No, so there are, these are flush left. Oh, this one here, Nicolette, is centered as well. So um, this is going to have to be something that you as a group discuss, uh, because some of you are centering, some of you are not centering, and because it's one specific blog, a user is going to want to see a seamless layout and the centering or, or the justification of the uh, font or the, the content either left, centered, or right is something that needs to be discussed. When something is centered like this, it calls attention to itself and because it's because people don't expect that to happen. Otherwise, uh, the content of the site is is of this particular page is looking is looking good. Uh, I like the, the amount of detail that you have in here. I like the level of um, the amount of linking that you're doing. Um, really descriptive pages. Uh, I like the linking to the hashtag, linking to ground theory on Wikipedia. Um, you know, sharing an idea of what the social science is, that's perfectly uh, fine too. Linking to Martin Hoxie's page is is great. Um, you do seem to put a space after the word and your exclamation points and I'm wondering why that has to be. I don't think that is uh, completely necessary. I'm glad that you're saying that you're a huge fan. Um, this is a show that's been around for a long time so it's nice that there are the fans. So I think the content here is nice. The gif is really kind of... I just don't understand animated gifs like this. So maybe I'm just an old man and that's my problem. Uh, but I would love to see this incorporated more into the content. Have the text wrap, wrap around it. Why is this particular GIF important, this sort of like moving away? I mean, is there a reason for it, or is it just the fact that you want to use a GIF? Um, so please do make sure the multimedia is something that is, uh, is, is important. For our little pretty little liars, I'm glad that you've Link to Rowan. Again, you can link to writing arts and elementary education. That's that's as well as specialization in reading. If you would, if you think that your readers would be interested in learning about that, uh, again with the uh, with the with the GIF. And I'm not sure I'm not sure how this GIF helps me understand the show or what it is that you're trying to say. I see that this is about um, dressing up and perhaps. Maybe this, this is the, the dead girl. I'm not sure who's getting dressed up here. But it is uh, a question that, again, I have about the gifts which I've been talking about. Um, so lots of linking. I think that's that's great. PLS stands for the History of Pretty Little Liars. Italicize that, please, uh, on ABC Family. So as with the one we were just discussing, I think that was Grace's. Uh, link. If you want to link to the show, have it be the link to the actual show. And then for ABC Family, the network, you can link to the network. Okay, so put the, make the title the actual link, because that's what we expect to see there. And again, we have the same thing going on here. You don't need a double uh, double link. Uh, it's great that you've, you're linking to my page, and you're stating what we're, we're doing. 
uh, the primary goals of this assignment, you might link to the, you know, make this linkable to the assignment or as stated by linkable because Bill Wolf, that's going to my Twitter page, which it should, but we also don't have the link to the actual assignment. We have a link to the course website, but maybe as a reader, I am interested in seeing the actual uh, assignment. Uh, great that it's going to Martin Hoxie's tags page. Uh, more information can be found. So here's where um, you're sort of linking to the assignment down towards the bottom here. There's an issue with the using of the word here for the link, and this is something that is done often on the web. However, um, it's not a very descriptive uh, link, especially for people who are using screen readers. Uh, clicking on, on that, the word here, uh, when that comes up on a screen reader, it just says here. It doesn't tell them what is actually the content of the site. So if you want it to be more information on this study, can be found, or you can find more information on this study, or you could just use the primary goals of this assignment is perfectly fine, and you can get rid of this sentence altogether. And you can be contact on Twitter at Nicolette Cicero with, with the period. Um, I would love to have a little bit more content here about the show, explaining what it's about, why it's such a good show, or what is en enticing about it, or why you like it, uh, the mystery of it, the, the use of the A, the, the girls who have, you know, one of them have gotten killed in this mysterious ways. So a little bit more about it. So someone who doesn't specifically know about the show will be able to learn a bit little bit about that. Okay, uh, all right, let's move on to tweeting diversity. <clears throat> uh, this is a nice theme. Uh, it's, you know, a very sort of clean layout. Uh, the menu is over here. This is a little fun little pop-up thing. It goes like that. I'm going to go pop out like that. Uh, let's take a look about, at the blog, about the blog and the bloggers. So we have, this is this blog was created and explored. This is nice, a nice little description about it. We've got three discussions. You might bold print your names to sort of highlight this. Uh, Adriana, I do not see your study page, so please contact me or uh, please try to get that online if you're having uh, some trouble, okay? Uh, periods at the end of your sentences after the, at Twitter, it's still part of the sentence. And please make sure that this page does link to your individual study pages. Okay, the autism study. This is, there's a great amount of information here. Um, uh, that describes why you're interested in doing this, that you work as a professional at a high, with a high school student on autism, and that's wonderful, and the fact that you're interested in learning more about autism and the fact that you've been following this hashtag for two years so that's 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 great I'm not sure what these images are for um, like I'm not sure what this image represents um, is this I understand that this is sort of uniting the world and, and it seems like these are children who are being united together uh, but I'm not sure how this is maybe is this something that signifies something for autism is this like a logo that might just not be my knowledge that doesn't is not aware of that. So perhaps something from maybe to the link to the high school, or is there an image for the high school, or I'm not sure you want to put that in there, or something that's more clearly described as for autism. Like is this a game for autis autistic students? You know, you can add a caption. Uh, you can add a caption. Uh, underneath it to sort of expl explicate what is going on there. Um, so you have a little discussion of what your study is going to do. Um, that's that's great. Uh, you might link to Martin Hoxie's Tag 6.0. That's wonderful. Uh, for the assignment for one of your classes. Great. So here uh, is another interesting thing. So this research study is an assignment for one of my classes. Okay, And then you link to the title of the class. Okay, you don't need quotation marks around the title of the class. Um, but when I see this, I think I'm going to the class itself, okay? When you're, in reality, you're taking me to the study page, so, or the research assignment. So, the, you might link to an assignment for one of my classes, and the title, and then link to the class here, 
Uh, here, in the following sentence, you have more information on the guidelines to this assignment. You say visit the website, which goes to the assignment as well. So we have the same link in two places. Here, I expect just to go to my homepage, WilliamWolf.org, uh, because that's what you've what you've listed. So please uh, try to make the content of where the link is going consistent with the content itself. So this would go to WilliamWolf.org if you want it, but I don't even think that's certainly necessary. You might say, for more information on the class, please visit the class site, and then it'll go to the actual course site. Uh, this sort of dangling image, it sort of draws attention to itself. Um, so I'm not sure if that is necessary. And again, uh, period after uh, the username. But, you know, the you might say a few things about autism. You know, what about autism that you've learned, um, the misconceptions, perceptions, thoughts, research. You might just like a paragraph sort of summarizing, summarizing that. It doesn't have to be anything in great detail. But it can give uh, a user who is, knows autism as it exists but isn't aware of some of the nuances of it uh, just a little bit of detail to help them understand why this is an important uh, subject. Okay, uh, we need diverse books. Here, this, this, this page, I look at it and I just see, really, I, I see basically text. And then um, there's no, is there a website for we need a, to, for the movement, the We Need Diverse Books movement? What is the We Need Diverse Books movement? Uh, you write a little bit about yourself here, Kim, but really what we need is... At, at some point here is what this is. What is that we need diverse? Diver, it's hard for me to say. We need diverse books movement itself, so that we're able to go ahead and um, uh, learn more about what that is. I mean, we can get an idea from the title book. It would be great to have it. Uh, if you want to link to Rowan University, that's that that would be great too. Uh, certainly, link to the hashtag. Um, and it seems like you've taken from, from the assigned page, and that's great, linking to the to tag 6.0. And here, this little image just sort of is dangling here at the end. It's not integrated in with it. What I would love to see is perhaps some examples of the diverse books. You know, maybe have a, a, a book over here, a book over here, to show me what those books are. So not only can you tell me about the movement, but I can see an example of a diverse book. Is it, you know, what makes a book diverse? Is it about diverse characters? Or is the author um, an, uh, sort of a, from a minority group? Or is, is the cover from a minority group? You know, I'm not, is it about something that's really not usually discussed in a, in a book? I'm really not sure, um, you know, how I'm supposed to understand this, but this little image here saying I support it does not is not helping it's is not helping me understand what it is that you're trying to say or what this this content I'm sorry this uh, this movement is all about so that would be something that I would be interested in seeing okay um, yeah and so I think if you have any questions for me or you're not sure how to do things or you want me to take another look at your your sites please let me know if not uh, see you